All right, friends, I'm going to show you how to make a frog like this one. Let's see if I can get so you can see it. And I'll have him jump. I can make him jump. Whoa, pretty far, huh? Isn't that fun? Woo! All right, so I have origami paper. This is about six inches by six inches. Um, it can be any size, but what shape does it have to be? What shape is that? Yeah, that's a square. So it has to be a square shape. Um, so this is something that your parents can help you do because some of this is a little bit hard, but I think you can do it with some help. And the important thing with origami is to always make it so that you're um, making the folds um, and pushing down the folds so that they're creased well because it's all about folding the paper together. So I'm going to describe how I do it and then I'll also put another link to another video that I use to learn how to do this. Okay, so you take your square. If you have color on one side and white on the other, you're going to put it so that the color's on the desk and you're going to fold it in half. So match up the corners. And I'm going to crease it with my finger. This is called creasing and I go back on it. I want to make sure it's a good fold. So now what shape do you have? Yep, a rectangle. All right, and if you notice, um, I know this is hard because I have it at a different angle, but you're going to have the folded side on your right hand and the place with the open sides on the left. All right, so the fold is on the right side. Then you're going to take the corner right here and you're going to fold it over about halfway so you make a triangle so it looks the paper is going to look like that okay and then you're going to open it up and see how there's a line Okay, so then you're going to take the other corner at the top of the line and you're going to go to the other side. And you can move around the paper, whatever helps you. All right, so it kind of looks like the other side, but when you open it up now, it's going to show, can you see that, an X. Okay, and then you can do the same thing on the bottom. So you take the bottom corner and you bring it up, you match, make sure that this here is all matched up as best you can to that corner. See how I get it up right against so it's a pointy corner? And I fold it, crease it. So I have one line. And then I'm going to take the corner now that's at the bottom of the line and I'm going to bring it to the other side and I'm going to make sure that I get these corners. Again, this is something you can have your parents help you with. Or, remember like we talked, you practice, 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 and that's how you get better. So now I have two X's at the top and at the bottom of my rectangle. Remember the folds going to still stay on the right hand side. All right. Now these folds are going to help me with my next part, which is a kind of tricky part, but if you watch what I do with my hands, I'm going to hold these two sides right opposite the center where the, two, the X is, right? And I'm going to bring these two kind of in, and you kind of need to sometimes press in, and it, it, it works because you've already folded it. So you kind of fold in these, and you and then you take the corners and you pull them out and you want it to turn out into, whoop. and you might need to push in. See how it's looking like this? So I went like this. I had this, right? And I went, whoop. So figure out how to do that. You pull those in then you make that triangle and then you bring these two pieces to the center. And sometimes this doesn't look like a point, but you kind of help, you kind of push a little bit and it turns. And there you have, this is the only really complicated fold part. So look, 
Now you have that triangle. Now you can do the same thing on the bottom. I find it easier just to turn it around. It doesn't really matter at this point what's happening. So again, I'm going to take the two sides and going to push them in and then kind of bring them down towards the center and then take these two corners. I'm going to pull it down. And again, see how this kind of isn't at a perfect point, so I kind of push it in a little bit. Um, and it's amazing how it works, because you've already made creases. That's why it's important to make those creases really good. So then you kind of push it down, because you have some folded parts down the middle. And now you have something that looks like this. All right. Okay. Now you're going to make the legs. So you're going to fold this corner just to the middle looks like that so I fold it up to the top I'm going to do the same thing on the other side I take the corner here and I'm going to fold it to the top of the triangle Okay, so now it looks like this. So we went from here and we went up like that. Okay, now I'm going to take those pieces and bend them to the very edge of that triangle. So it looks like that. So I went from here and I bended it and it matched up along this edge. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. And then I'm going to switch around so it looks like this. So it was like this, and we bent these off. All right. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to turn and it's just the top layer that you're turning up, okay? Because there's going to be two layers of that triangle. Okay, so again. This part, I'll put it to the tippy top, and now I'm going to fold it out towards the outside. And you'll see how these are making feet. Yay! All right. Whoops, it's down here. So they were like this, and I turned them out like that. All right. I'm going to turn it over, and it looks like this now. All right. Next thing you do. Uh, the one that's facing you on the bottom, and really it doesn't matter which way, it's reversible, it doesn't matter. You're going to take the bottom corner and you're going to turn it up, and you'll see how far you can turn it up. It's to the top. You make another triangle. It's basically from here to the top of the legs. You can't really bend any further without it looking kind of weird, so that just is where it bends up. And then you're going to do, you're going to fold into the center, sort of like a paper airplane. So it was like this. I folded this up and I'm going to fold it like that. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And make sure you get as close to the point at the top as you can. And if you'll notice too, at the bottom, this doesn't come all the way to this bottom, okay? It's a little bit above it. So we were like this, and now we're going to cover that little triangle. All right. Now, uh, everything's there. Now, this is the part that's a little tricky, um, but you're going to, do you see at the back? Okay. So I'm going to take it, and I'm kind of doing it from this side, right? So from this view, you take it and you fold it under, so on this side it looks like you're folding it right there where those two tr meet, right there. Okay, so you're going to fold it under and then you take this fold that you just made here, okay, oops, and you're going to fold it back so that it goes and this is a part you'll probably need a grown-up to help you with a little bit. 
and fold it, fold it back in on itself. And there you have it. Oop. If it doesn't work, you just kind of fiddle with it to make it. All right, here we go. Ready? Let's see if it works. Ah! Well, then we're gonna fiddle some more. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta fold it and you gotta maybe fold it back a little bit or forward a little bit. Let me make it work. Oh, my little frog. Maybe back a little bit more. So you fiddle with it. See, even I can't do it perfectly right now. There. You just have to bring it back sometimes a little bit more. And then when you hit it right here, it jumps. All right, good luck with it. I'll also post another link to another video of a professional doing it. But have fun with it. There's your little froggy.